good morning students finish your prayer thank you naan oru nalla asiriyar naan ungalku thaayagum thandeyagum irundha mariyaga anbodu kelvi bodhipen naan oru nalla asiriyar naan ungalku thaayagum thandeyagum irundha mariyaga anbodu kelvi bodhipen naan oru nalla asiriyar naan ungalku thaayagum thandeyagum irundha mariyaga anbodu kelvi bodhipen okay students take your social science book come to page number 4 we will move to the next topic paleolithic culture so before entering to the class let us recall what we have discussed in our previous class so in our previous class we discussed about the human evolution you know so the species of humans so how human evolved from different species okay ma so that is the step by step so how he was migrated so how he was evolved as a human being from the ape so australopithecus to homo erectus to homo sapiens yeah then we saw about the great rift value so it was in africa then so our ancestor species was found in that region so we saw about that detailly then finally about the prehistoric culture okay ma that is the fossil bones of our human ancestor was classified into various species so like that there are several tools so we got in different regions of our world yeah so based on that we fought uh, we found uh, our peoples our ancestors culture yeah, so how they lived uh, in what way they lived we analyzed that also okay va wow. let us move into today's topic paleolithic culture initially the prehistoric period was divided into three culture one is paleolithic then second one is mesolithic then third one is neolithic in today's class we will see about paleolithic culture we yeah, also the prehistoric period the stone age is divided into three period paleolithic mesolithic neolithic among that paleolithic culture was existing for a long period of time okay ma so initially the humans used stones for cutting slicing and processing the food so they used the stones for cutting the food and also so for slicing the food yeah, so that's why it was called as lithic age so lith means stone since the human beings used the stones for several purposes it was called as lithic age yeah further it was divided into paleolithic mesolithic and neolithic in this class we will see detailly about paleolithic so paleolithic culture was further divided into three so first one is lower then middle then upper so here lower paleolithic culture so this was marked by the human ancestors belonging to the species of homo habilis and homo erectus so for australopithecans so homo habilis and homo erectus were evolved so lower paleolithic, paleolithic culture was marked by the two species homo habilis and homo erectus then they flaked large stone blocks so flaked means so remove of you know that is they remove a small pieces of stones from this large stone blocks using the hand axe and designed various tools you know they were found in africa asia and europe so and they were dated earliest to about 1.8 million years ago that is 18 lakhs years ago the lower paleolithic culture was seen lower paleolithic culture so the humans our human ancestors made various tools so various instrument such as hand axes and clavers so clavers means so it was a tool with a heavy blood used for chopping that is for cutting the meat so they used clavers so hand axes for making the tools and the clavers so for cutting the meat so for to meet their subsistence to meet their daily needs so it was also known as bifaces because both the edge of the tools were sharp so you can see in this slide not see top and bottom just to see side okay if you see both side of the tools it was sharp so the physical symmetry it shows the physical symmetry and shows the humans skill so humans perception that is they were aware of something so it shows people's awareness our ancestors awareness yeah so this was the remarkable future in lower paleolithic culture then so these hand axe tools are also known as aquilian tools because so it was found in saint aquil near france so it was first found near saint aquil in france so that's why it was called as aquilian tools yeah then the tool making tradition continued 
டூ லேக்ஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் டு சிக்ஸ்டி தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் எகோ இன் இந்தியா ஸோ திஸ் ஹேண்ட் ஆக்ஸ் டூல்ஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் பை ஃபேசஸ் வாஸ் கண்டினியூட் இன் இந்தியா டில் டூ லேக்ஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் டு சிக்ஸ்டி தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் எகோ இன் இந்தியா லோயர் பெலிலித்திக் கல்ச்சர் ஸோ த ஹியூமன்ஸ் அவர் ஹியூமன் ஆன்சஸ்டர்ஸ் மேடு வேரியஸ் டூல்ஸ் ஸோ வேரியஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட் சச் ஆஸ் ஹேண்ட் அக்சஸ் அண்ட் கிளேவர்ஸ் ஸோ கிளேவர்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் சிட் வாஸ் ஏ டோல் வித் ஹேவி பிளட் யூஸ்டு ஃபார் சோப்பிங் தட் இஸ் ஃபார் கட்டிங் த மீட் ஸோ தி யூஸ்டு கிளேவர்ஸ் ஸோ ஹேண்ட் அக்சஸ் ஃபார் மேக்கிங் த டூல்ஸ் அண்ட் கிளேவர்ஸ் ஸோ ஃபார் கட்டிங் த மீட் ஸோ ஃபார் டு மீட் தயர் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் டு மீட் தயர் டெய்லி நீட்ஸ் ஸோ இட் வாஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் எஸ் பை ஃபேசஸ் பிகாஸ் போத் தி எஜ் ஆஃப் தி டூல்ஸ் வேர் ஷார்ப் ஸோ யூ கேன் சி இன் திஸ் லைட் நாட் சி டாப் அண்ட் பாட்டம் ஜஸ்ட் சி சைடு ஓகே யூ சி போத் சைட் ஆஃப் தி டூல்ஸ் இட் வாஷ் ஷார்ப் ஸோ த ஃபிசிக்கல் சிமெண்ட்ரி இட் ஷோஸ் த ஃபிசிக்கல் சிமெண்ட்ரி அண்ட் ஷோஸ் த ஹியூமன்ஸ் ஸ்கில் ஸோ ஹியூமன்ஸ் பெர்செப்ஷன் தட் இஸ் தே வேர் அவேர் ஆஃப் சம்திங் ஸோ இட் ஷோஸ் பீப்புள்ஸ் அவேர்னஸ் அவர் ஆன்சஸ்டர்ஸ் அவேர்னஸ் ஸோ திஸ் வாஸ் தி ரிமார்க்கபிள் ஃபியூச்சர் இன் லய லோயர் பயலியூரத்திக் கல்ச்சர் தென் ஸோ தீஸ் ஹேண்ட் டாக்ஸ் டூல்ஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ நோன் எஸ் அக்யூலியன் டூல்ஸ் தி கேஸ் ஸோ இட் வாஸ் ஃபவுண்டு இன் செயிண்ட் அக்யூல் நியர் ஃப்ரான்ஸ் ஸோ இட் வாஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபவுண்டு நியர் செயிண்ட் அக்யூல் இன் ஃப்ரான்ஸ் ஸோ தட்ஸ் வே இட் வாஸ் கால்ட் எஸ் அக்யூலியன் டூல்ஸ் தென் த டூல் மேக்கிங் ட்ரெடிஷன் கண்டினியூடு டூ லேக்ஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் டு சிக்ஸ்டி தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் எகோ இன் இந்தியா ஸோ திஸ் ஹேண்ட் ஆக்ஸ் டூல்ஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் பை ஃபேசஸ் வாஸ் கண்டினியூடு இன் இந்தியா டில் டூ லேக்ஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் டு சிக்ஸ்டி தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் எகோ இன் இந்தியா ஸோ திஸ் லேடி சோஸ் தி டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்டோன் டூல் டெக்னாலஜி இன் ஈஸ்ட் ஆஃப்ரிக்கா ஸோ த ஃபஸ்ட் த ஓல்ட் அண்ட் ஒன் ஸோ லொமக் வியன் ஸோ விச் வாஸ் டிஸ்கவர்ட் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ மில்லியன் இயர்ஸ் எகோ தென் ஆஃப்டர் தட் ஓல்ட் ஓவன் so which was discovered 2.6 million years ago then aquilian tools so which was discovered in africa 1.76 million years ago then lawyer paleolithic culture so they did not possess complex language skill like us so nowadays if you take in the world there are lot of thousands of languages were spoken uh, but lawyer paleolithic culture people does not possess complex language skills so maybe they have voice diffuse sounds or words or possibly used sign languages that is through signals so they convey the message so there is no language skills like us yeah just they maybe spoke some words yeah but they were intelligent enough to select stones as raw materials and used the hammer stones yeah so and with the help of the hammer stones they flake the rocks and design tools for their needs yeah so if you take rock surfaces rocks it was all the rocks are not hard yeah so but they know so which rock is hard so they used that rock as hammer and with the help of that hammer they flaked the rocks so they flaked the big rocks and designed the tools for their needs so they can understand so which rock is very hard yeah so with the help of that rock they break other rocks and to make the things and to make the tools whatever they want yeah so they hunted the animals and to fed on the meat of the animals killed by the predators so predator means so some other wild animals so some wild animals so they attacked and kill uh, domestic animals so like uh, uh, deer like the tandal yeah so uh, some wild animals kill that animals and eat them and left to behind them and left to them yeah so our human ancestors so sometimes they feed on that animal also yeah and another time they gathered plant food such as root nut fruits also yeah so they depend on both animals and also fruits for their need food yeah. then in india the aquilian tools were found in chennai and disambur yeah so chennai you know in tamil nadu isambur it was in karnataka and in madhya pradesh in bimbatka yeah, so the aquilian tools were found in chennai in tamil nadu isambur in karnataka and bimbatka in madhya pradesh so this picture shows so how a person making stone tool okay ma that is with the help of the hammer stone he break away another stone and thus he make these tools okay ma so different type of tools so like a clever harpoon yeah so he make the tools whatever he want then another period is middle paleolithic culture so after about 3 lakh 98000 years ago so further changes took place in lithic technology in africa so after about 3 lakh 90 98000 years 
BC that is before Christ before common era so further changes took place in the lithic technology in Africa so the homo erect species existed during this period so middle paleolithic culture human ancestor was so homo erectus if you take lower paleolithic culture homo habilis followed by homo erectus if you take middle paleolithic culture homo erectus species existed yeah. so anatomically modern humans are said to have emerged around 3 lakhs years ago so anatomically now the present modern humans structure was emerged so 3 lakh years ago then they made hand axes so it was attractive in design so now they made the our human ancestors made the hand axes which was smaller and attractive in design yes yeah, so and they produces a so large number of so smaller tools when compared to lower paleolithic culture then another period is middle paleolithic culture so after about 3 lakh 98000 years ago so further changes took place in lithic technology in africa so uh, after about 3 lakh 90 98000 years B- bc that is before christ before common era so further changes took place in the lithic technology in africa so the homo erectus species existed during this period so middle paleolithic culture human ancestor was so homo erectus if you take lower paleolithic culture homo habilis followed by homo erectus if you take middle paleolithic culture homo erectus species existed yeah. so anatomically modern humans are said to have emerged around 3 lakhs years ago so anatomically now the present modern humans structure was emerged so 3 lakh years ago then they made hand axes so it was attractive in design so now they made the, our human ancestors made the hand axes which was smaller and attractive in design yes yeah, so and they produces so a large number of so smaller tools when compared to lower paleolithic culture so the picture shows the paleolithic tools so you can find harpoon that is used for catching large fishes okay so they are used for catching large fishes then hand axe yes yeah, so which is used to break other rocks or other stones then finally they make needle also so with the help of the animal bones they made needle also the middle paleolithic culture so they produced short blades yeah so and also they produced points and scrapers so points na with sharp edge they produced tools then the lithic tool making tradition of the evolution belong to this period so evolution so evolution means it was also a place so level level was it was also a place in france so this type of tools were first identified in that place so that's why it was called as levolution tools it was also found in europe central and western asia and this was appeared so that is the middle paleolithic culture appeared between 3 lakh 85000 and 1 lakh 90000 uh, 90000 years ago in europe and parts of west and south asia so the middle paleolithic culture appeared between 3 lakh 85000 to 1 lakh 98000 years ago in europe and parts of west and south asia Uh, then the tools used produced by this time was used till about 28000 years ago yeah so the tool making technology which was emerged between 3 lakh 85000 to 1 lakh 98000 years ago was used till 28000 years ago that is for lakhs of years so middle paleolithic culture tools were used the middle paleolithic culture so they produced short blades yeah so and also they produced points and scrapers so points na with sharp edge they produced tools then the lithic tool making tradition of the evolution belong to this period so evolution so evolution means it was also a place so level level was it was also a place in france so this type of tools were first identified in that place so that's why it was called as levolution tools it was also found in europe central and western asia and this was appeared so that is the middle paleolithic culture appeared between 3 lakh 85000 and 1 lakh 90000 uh, 90000 years ago in europe and parts of west and south asia so the middle paleolithic culture appeared between 3 lakh 85000 to 1 lakh 98000 years ago in europe and parts of west and south asia Uh, then the tools used produced by this time was used till about 28000 years ago yeah so the tool making technology which was emerged between 3 lakh 85000 to 1 lakh 98000 years ago was used till 28000 years ago that is for lakhs of years so middle paleolithic culture tools were used 
Initially, the prehistoric period was divided into three cultures. One is Paleolithic, then second one is Mesolithic, then third one is Neolithic. In today's class, we will see about Paleolithic culture. We have said the prehistoric period. The Stone Age is divided into three periods. Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic. Among that, Paleolithic culture was... Then the people of this period were also called as Neanderthals. And they buried the people system, systematically. So before that and all. So they won't bury their ancestors. They won't bury their human species. But for the first time, they began to bury the dead people systematically. So they, dis, they properly bury the dead people. Then upper Paleolithic culture. So the culture phase that succeeded the middle Paleolithic culture was the upper Paleolithic culture. So it was marked by innovation. So that is they, they have a change in tool technology. That is something they produce newly. Yeah. That is they produce long blades and burins. So long blade. Yeah. And burin. So it was uh, sharp edged stones. So they produced long blades and also sharp edged blades. Yeah. Then the people used different varieties of silica rich raw materials. So they produced the materials uh, from the raw material which is rich in silica so silica is a chemical substance yeah, so they produce the tools so from the raw materials which is rich in silica and also for the first time they began to draw paintings yeah, so whatever they saw so first in the lawyer paleolithic culture they began to convey the signals but now the time they began to draw the futures what they haven't saw yeah, so in order to convey the message to their close species they began to draw the paintings so you can also saw numerous paintings in the caves yeah, so it was emerged it was began during the upper paleolithic culture then so and also they produce large number of tools so large number of artifacts yeah it suggests the improvement in humans perception skill cognitive skill and also the language began to develop you know, see initially in lawyer paleolithic culture, just uh, they few they spoke few words only. But now they uh, began to convey large number of words. So now languages began to develop. Yeah. Then the microliths appeared. So uh, they also produced small tools. So small rock. Okay, they also produce small rock tools. Okay, wow. So micro means small, lith means rock. So small rocks they also produce. That is, when compared to pre when compared to previous tools, now they are producing small tools also. So it was the remarkable future in Paleolithic upper Paleolithic culture. Then another period is middle Paleolithic culture. So after about three lakh ninety eight thousand years ago so further changes took place in lithic technology in Africa. So uh, after about three lakh ninety eight thousand years. B BC that is before Christ. So before entering to the class, let us recall what we have discussed in our previous class. So in our previous class, we discussed about the human evolution. You know, so the species of humans. So how human evolved from upper Paleolithic culture. So in this period, they used horns and ivory. So from animals. They take horns and ivory and also they make tools also. So initially they used rocks only. Okay, they used rocks only for making tools. But now they began to use horns and ivory from animals. So they make bone needles. So with the help of the bone they make needles and fish hooks. So which is used for catching smaller fishes. And harpoons and spears. So which is used for capturing the large fish. Okay, wow. So these were produced. So now the human skill was increasing. Now they began to wear clothes and cooked food. So now you can understand. So cooked food means what? Yeah, fire was discovered. Okay, wow. So they began to wear clothes and they eat the food after cooking. But initially what they will do? Just they eat the food freshly so without cooking the food they eat so now you can understand cooked food means now the fire was discovered so they began to cook the food and eat yeah then here so they buried the dead so dead species with folded hand placed over their chest so they buried the dead persons with folded hands placed over their chest yeah. So, do you know who first buried the dead persons? So, which species of humans buried the dead persons systematically? Yeah, Neanderthals. So, they began to bury the dead persons 
but uh, in upper paleolithic culture so they began to bury the dead with the folded hands placed over their chest upper paleolithic culture so in this period they used horns and ivory so from animals they take horns and ivory and also they make tools also so initially they used rocks only okay they used rocks only for making tools but now they began to use horns and ivory from animals so they make bone needles so with the help of the bone they make needles and fish hooks so which is used for catching smaller fishes and harpoons and spears so which is used for capturing the large fish okay so these were produced so now the human skill was increasing now they began to wear clothes and cooked food so now you can understand so cooked food means what yeah fire was discovered okay so they began to wear clothes and they eat the food after cooking but initially what they will do just they eat the food freshly so without cooking the food they eat so now you can understand cooked food means now the fire was discovered so they began to cook the food and eat yeah then here so they buried the dead so dead species with folded hand placed over their chest so they buried the dead persons with folded hands placed over their chest yeah so do you know who first buried the dead persons so which species of humans buried the dead persons systematically yeah neanderthals so they began to bury the dead persons but in upper paleolithic culture so they began to bury the dead with folded hands placed over their chest then they began to carve the tools so that is they began to carve the rock surfaces and make some sculptures carvings etc yeah so you can see in this picture okay so they be, uh, they try to carve a image in a rock okay so they this shows their knowledge so this shows their skill yeah so evidence from paintings so clay model sculptures and carvings yeah, so that is they carved out of the rock surface and uh, try to make some images yeah so if you see most of the countries so most of the people of that time so made images of goddess venus yeah so it was found in europe and in some parts of asia so they try to make the goddess venus so what it shows sir so yeah they began to worship god okay so they began to worship god so they gave n- name to some natural forces so for wind they gave some name for uh, rain they gave some name for earth gave, they gave some name that means they began to think about god and think about nature okay va so this map shows the paleolithic sites in india so wherever the paleolithic tools are found it was shown in this map okay oh, yeah. so all the three that is lower middle and upper paleolithic tools wherever we got in india it was shown in this map my okay, students so thank you so if you have any doubt just ask me please do your homework thank you so this map shows the paleolithic sites in india so wherever the paleolithic tools are found it was shown in this map okay oh, yeah. so all the three that is lower middle and upper paleolithic tools wherever we got in india it was shown in this map my dear students so thank you so if you have any doubt just ask me please do your homework thank you